This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We tag along as two Wisconsin hunters head west for the opener of the antelope season in early October. Now hunting the western states can be a challenge for even the most seasoned hunters. But with a little help from their mentors and the generosity of a Wisconsin nonprofit organization, these hunters are able to tame the West from the confines of their wheelchair. Awesome boy. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Available at your local Triggs grocery store. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. When winter weather makes driving difficult, fight back with a newer pre-owned vehicle from Colby Chrysler. Isn't it time you test drive the Ram 1500 Voter Motor Trends Truck of the Year not once, but twice? That's right, twice. Whether you choose a new or pre-owned vehicle or choose our award-winning service department, we want you to feel right at home at Colby Chrysler. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. You know, over the past several seasons, we've brought you several mule deer and antelope hunts that have been made possible by a Wisconsin nonprofit organization that specializes in bringing disadvantaged and disabled hunters back into the outdoors. Well, on this week's show, we get a chance to follow two Wisconsin hunters on their first ever trip to Eastern Wyoming. So let's head to the RBJ Ranch and meet our first hunter, Steve Lane from Waupon, right now. I'm Steve Lang from Waupon, Wisconsin. Day two with Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged. We're gonna try mule deer again. We'll see how it goes. You know, we woke up about quarter to five. Lots of anticipation of what we're gonna see. Still wondering how we could see anything with this seemingly barren landscape. We knew where the big antelope buck was from the first day. 
So we wanted to try to get back there and get a shot at him because that was one that really wanted to target. So we seen him come off the ridge from, we were probably a thousand yards away, but with binoculars, we seen him come off the ridge. We knew what field he was gonna go down in. We knew where he was feeding. So we slowly took the truck up down the path, got within, I don't know, might be 600 yards, glassed him, made sure it was the one that we were after, verified that it was, continued down the path, got to the entrance of the field, slowly worked our way down, and the buck and his harem of six other does took off across the field, thought he was gonna be gone. We watched the does run up, run up down the ravine, up the cliff on the other side. But the buck stayed behind. We knew if he went up the cliff, we'd still be able to get a shot at him. It would be, you know, it would be a 200 yard shot, but that, that was doable. I was comfortable shooting at 200 yards. You know, I'd practice with the gun. You know, I, I was comfortable shooting there. Well, the buck stayed down in the valley, just on the edge of the field. And we ranged him out. It was 235 yards. He stopped between um, two, dead, two dead trees, had a clear shot had a rest on top, of the, on top of the cab of the truck. Um, felt good about the shot, but as I went to shoot, kind of fell a little bit more, pulled the shot, shot just in front of him. Not much I could do about it at that point. He ran down through the valley, up the hillside, up by his, by his other does, his harem of does. They just just missed an antelope buck. Uh, I seen him yesterday. It's a really nice, really nice buck. Um, came up over the hill. I seen he was out here, out here in the hay field with a few other of his does, and had a good rest, had a good aim. Uh, he was about 230 yards out, and trying to shoot out of the wheelchairs. You know, had to lean a little bit to the, to my right dropped the shoulder right when I shot and shot over his back and it's just the way just the way it goes as part of hunting um, we know he wasn't injured we know he wasn't hit so it was a good clean miss you know if we're gonna miss that's the way I want to miss um, it was another close call but um, he he got away I was injured in June of 2005 in an automobile accident when our, cro our car crossed the center lane, hit a bridge abutment head on. Um, I fractured four vertebrae in my lower spine along with tearing the aorta from the heart. I spent three months in the hospital totally bedridden. I was totally um, dependent on everybody else for everything that I had to do in life. Uh, I was told by the doctors I would never be able to move again um, independently. Um, it took two and a half years of rehab to be able to be independent in a chair without being ha having to be seat belted in. Luckily, I was able to be able to sit up, not be strapped in, get a little bit of movement back in my legs, um, which helps me with balance, being able to um, be outdoors a little more, do things around the house, you know, little things like that, which made life a little easier. Getting in the outdoors can be quite a challenge. Um, having to use a manual wheelchair, learn things to do that way. 
you really don't go anywhere without your cell phone so you can call for help. Um, friends, relatives, they're my 911 service. Yeah. I've only had to call for help a couple times to get back out of the field because until you find where your limits are, you really don't know what your limits are. I've been able to go duck hunting, goose hunting, um, got myself into a canoe before, um, I've done some kayaking, I've even tried water skiing, um, which was quite an adventure. You know, I've done a little bit of pheasant hunting. Most of the stuff though is done with the help of outfitters, you know, um, programs very similar to what we've done here with um, outdoor adventures. You know, you really need to rely on other people to give you a hand on doing a lot of it or have them available for backup in case you get in trouble. You need to have a lifeline somewhere along the line. You just can't go and do the things yourself anymore. So after missing the antelope, we're back here at the, back here at camp and landowner's son comes driving up and he said he's found a really nice antelope a really big one he said it's about as big as the one you missed you want him i said heck i'm game let's go There he goes. He was so close to going down before that. That was a tall one that was next to him. All right, we just had an antelope come up over the ridge and we got a, we got a pretty good shot on him. First one I've ever got to shoot at. Just, just an exhilarating feeling to be able to see something like that stand on top of the ridge and be able to get a shot like that. It was, Pretty, pretty darn exciting <laughs> to be able to have something like that. Let's go down and take a look at him and see how big he is. Get our hands on him for once. First time I got to lay my hands on an antelope. <laughs> Came up over the ridge, and there this nice looking antelope stood. Um, it's got really nice hooks on here. Character from being fighting, must be from other antelope. Uh, nice cutter. I'm just really, really proud to be able to have an antelope very first one, and have a great organization like Outdoor Adventures to be able to put on a hunt like this for, for somebody. When you come out here, you get to bring a caregiver along with you, so I chose to bring my Uncle Wayne along with me. He was the individual who, after my accident, was like, come on, bud, you grew up hunting, you grew up fishing, you grew up in the outdoors, we gotta get your butt up and get you out hunting and stuff again. The atmosphere here at RBJ Ranch is just phenomenal. Whether it's rolling on a truck or getting in a truck, and just driving out and going hunting and not have to worry about how am I gonna get there, if I'm gonna be able to go out, is the weather gonna stop me from doing this? You know, and having those problems all taken care of ahead of time, you know, that that's like a big relief, a big burden lift off your shoulders, not to have to worry about those things and have those accommodations all taken care of. 
knowing that you're gonna get to see some animals, you know, that was just the icing on the cake. Being able to come out here to Wyoming is something I didn't think I would ever be able to do, especially after being paralyzed about nine years ago. Um, being, being able to go antelope hunting, mule deer hunting, anything like that was something that was basically a pipe dream after losing the ability to walk. It's really hard to put into words, you know, what, what it means to be able to do something like this. So, you know, thank you is just not enough. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Strike Master, Markham Technologies, Otter Outdoors, and Rapala. Delivering power on demand with the push of a button. The new 50 volt lithium laser from Strike Master is capable of making short work of as many as 56 holes in 24 inches of ice on a single charge. Featuring many of the same components found in all of Strike Master's power augers, the lithium laser cuts no corners and delivers uncompromising durability. This winter, don't settle for anything less than the dependable Strike Master lithium laser. Ice fishing's first full power, high performance electric ice auger. Introducing the new wireless pan cam camera system from Markham Technologies. The groundbreaking interface that allows an angler to wirelessly monitor and control the left right pan of a remote camera from up to 300 feet away. The Markham pan cam system transmits a live video stream via Wi Fi back to your Apple or Android device, and the free Markham app is even capable of connecting to multiple cameras at the same time for multi camera on ice coverage. This winter, take full control of your underwater camera with Markham Technologies wireless pan cam camera system. The new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter feature a new look and unmatched protection from the elements. The fully insulated Pro XT 1200 features a 1200 denier shell built for extreme conditions, while the Thermal Top XT 650 features a 650 denier shell that locks in heat and eliminates condensation. All Extreme Thermal Shelters are built on Otter's legendary roto-molded sled and proven oversized square tube frames. The all new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter, built tougher, stronger, smarter. The new Ultralight Rip and Wrap offers a smaller profile and slower, more seductive action on the fall than any other rattle bait on the market today. The number four Ultralight Rip and Wrap is irresistible to big perch and slab crappie, yet it fishes big enough to tempt trophy caliber predators during a cold front or anytime walleye, pike, or lake trout key in on smaller profile baits. This winter, when you hit the ice looking for your next lunker, think big, go small, with Rapala's new Ultralight Rip and Wrap. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Now before we left you for the break, Steve Lang from Waupon, Wisconsin had put an awesome shot on a beautiful Wyoming antelope. Now Steve's hunt was made possible by Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged, a Wisconsin nonprofit organization that specializes in getting disadvantaged and disabled hunters back into the outdoors. You know, just like Steve, Justin Krieger of Cudahy, Wisconsin was also injured in a car accident and today is confined to a wheelchair. Let's head back to the RBJ Ranch in eastern Wyoming and meet up with Justin as he's heading out to the blind to see if he can put his tag on a Wyoming antelope. Hi, I'm Justin Krieger from Cudahy, Wisconsin, uh, around the Milwaukee area. I uh, own a modular home manufacturing business in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. I got told about the, the Outdoor Adventures um, from my brother and uh, jumped online and took a look and took a look at the website and uh, submitted my application and I uh, got a call, asked if I wanted to come out and go on a, on a hunting trip and uh, of course I said yes and, and here I am. Got in here late morning, um, met all the guys, got, uh, got to see the whole camp and uh, from the minute that uh, you pull in the driveway 
Um, it's just, it's open arms and just welcoming you in and, and, and just be in there to help you for, for whatever you want. And um, it's, it's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable experience out here with Outdoor Adventures. I was uh, involved in an auto accident uh, June 22nd of 2003 and uh, had uh, gotten flown out of a truck. I was uh, flown flight to flight to UW Hospital in Madison, Wisconsin. I uh, had some back injuries, um, but more importantly, I had um, an aneurysm of the aorta uh, that Dad found and uh, were able to go in uh, without uh, cut my chest open and fix me and make me stable again. Um, the hard problem the aneurysm was taken care of. Um, so now just dealing out with the back injury, which was some sensation from the waist down, but um, not really any movement from the waist down. So um, after, after getting out of the hospital was a three to six month process of just kind of relearning life again um, and new ways of doing what you did one way before so um, everything's still possible but it's just a different way you learn doing things. Woo! <laughs> Down goes the dino. Drop them! Awesome! That's... <sighs> no, is it a good... That's a nice goal. That's a nice goal. So, uh, we're out here. First night. Um, didn't get here till late morning. Did a little, uh, driving around here this afternoon. Came in, took a bit of a break, came back out and uh, watched a uh, antelope come down off the hill and nailed it. It's awesome, such an adrenaline rush. Did you picture this race? I was getting nervous there for a minute. He kept moving. That's tough. He came all the way across the front and then just, man. That's, that's so cool. So cool. Heck yeah. Oh, man. Mm. This couple of days has is, is kind of got me, got me excited again about, about hunting and kind of getting back in into the outdoors. My brother's got some land back home and, um, and I, like I said, you know, earlier I lost track a little bit of it, of the, of the sport and this really got me back into wanting to to uh, to do more in with it again. So um, I'll be back uh, back hunting again and getting back into the sport a little bit more. So super excited. Found a spot up behind a bunch of hay bales and uh, kind of parked up behind that. And uh, we're watching a bunch of mule deer out in the distance and a, a ton of antelope uh, and all of a sudden with a hill to the right of us came uh, this guy right here and uh, a doe down and followed him and came right across right in front of right in front of us I mean it was uh, man it was exciting and uh, got the shot off 
was a great first day at, at camp to, to make that all happen. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission, HHA Sports, Titanium Tip Stick, and Rue Motors. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig, or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Hi, I'm Tim Rue from Rue Motors. Whether work or play, we have the Kubota tractor or RTV for you. Rue Motors has been serving central Wisconsin since 1947 with a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Backed by four generations, you can count on the staff at Rue Motors for outstanding sales and service on all of your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Burnhamwood or Anigo. Product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. Hey guys, congratulations on two great Wyoming antelope. It was my honor to get a chance to spend a few days with you in hunting camp. You know, if you know of anyone that may be a candidate for this hunt of a lifetime, encourage them to log onto the website listed here on the screen. Fill out the simple application form and this fall, it could be them punching their tag on this great Wyoming hunt. Join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. This one? This one. This one. All right. Justin Krieger, Cudahy, Wisconsin. No, I screwed that up. I just say I'm. Okay. And this is where you say curveball Kurt, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Justin Krieger. Um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Outdoor Bound TV, we'll be right back. There you go, we're done. <laughs> and then that, that was good with Outbound, Outdoor Bound TV. Yep.